Hey everybody, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a video here on how to mold the case from 1.3.7 in PLTW. Um, it seems like some of you are running into a little bit of a of an issue, and uh, so I thought I'd put together a video on how I would do it. So this is the case we have. As you can see, it's just it's basically a rectangle it's it's a cube it's you know and that's how we're gonna attack it we're gonna attack it as a cube and the cube is 41 deep because this is our front view right here the cube is 41 deep 55 wide and 32 high so that's what i'm going to start with okay so i'm going to come over here i've got on shape open and the first thing I'm going to do under my document menu, my workspace units, I'm going to change them to millimeters. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because the drawing we have is millimeters. I'm not going to go through the fancy conversions or anything like that. I'm just going to make the software work for me. Okay. Now I'm going to create my box. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select my front view, sketch on it. Turn it that way. I'm just going to create a rectangle and put some dimensions on it. And again, this was 55 wide by 32 high, right? 55 wide, 32 high. And now, I'm going to extrude this 41 deep. Okay. I've created a box. Create a box, and here's my front view of it 55. Now, if I go over here, they're showing in. this drawing they're showing a radius here okay a radius of three millimeters well it's only on these two corners it's only on these two front corners okay so i'm going to put that in normally you put your radiuses in at the end but because i see that i'm going to have to shell this out i want to make the software do the figure in for me. Okay. Three millimeters. Okay. So I've got those in. Now I want to open the box up. And it tells me I have a two inch thick wall, typical. That's what this TYP means. Typical. It's a two inch thick wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shell now. Use my shell command. I'm going to remove this face. Okay, now I've got a box, very similar to what I've got here. Okay, it's the beginnings of the box, the beginnings of the box. But if I look, oh, this one is three millimeters. They say it's typical, except on the back. On the back, they want a little thicker wall. So what we have to do is we've got to make this back wall a little thicker. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this the, easy, the cheater way. I'm going to extrude that face one millimeter. So I just made it a little fatter. Just a little fatter. No big deal. Okay, so I've got that now. Get that going for me, which is nice. What I need to do next? Well, I've got this hole here, and it's on this face. So I'm going to sketch on this face, get a good look at it, and I have a rectangle. 
So I'm going to sketch a rectangle. And that rectangle is three millimeters high. Hit escape. Get out the mesh at three millimeters high. The rectangle is 15 millimeters wide. Remember, we're dealing with cloud base, so it sometimes it has to catch up. And then it's 20 millimeters off from the side. It doesn't like that dimension. So let's take this one. Okay, hit escape. Well, if you ever get caught up, just hit escape, okay? Dimension from here to here. 20 millimeters. Okay. So I've got 20, I got 15, and I need the height is 19.5 from the bottom. So I'm going to take this, take this, 19.5. Okay. Fully constrained. I'm going to remove that face, but I don't want to go all the way through. I just want to go up to next. Okay, so it'll stop right at that surface there. So I've got that hole in there for me. Let's look at other features in this drawing. Okay, let's put these holes in the bottom. We're going to sketch. Gonna look at it from the top. And I have a hole that is going to add a dimension. They tell me I have 20 holes. Four at five, okay? So I have 20 holes at five millimeters. I think they mean four millimeters. Four millimeters at five. I'm not sure what they're saying there, honestly. And let's make it work though, okay? And let's pop that through. Got to cut that. Now I click the edge. That's what happens when you click an edge sometimes. You've got to click the hole. We're going to remove it. And we're going to go through all. I didn't dimension that, did I? So let's fix this sketch. Let's edit this sketch. Where we go? Got by the bing. That's 15. And this is 17.5. Okay. Now we're going to pattern. So we've got five separating here, right? And then we got, that's what the four is at five, okay? I'm thinking my hole size is not four, but we're going to see. So 
we may have to adjust that a little bit. We may have to adjust that a little bit, but let's see. Okay, where's my pattern at? Where's my pattern at? Here's my linear pattern, and I'm going to do this extrude. Entities to pattern, this one. Pattern. This one. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this one, and I'll pattern it. It's not playing nice with me. This is remove. No, I see why. I've got part pattern selected. Feature pattern. This feature. Okay. Now, distance five. This instance count. Four. Direction. We're going to go this direction. See how that did? Actually, it's got five. Second direction. I'm going to go this direction. Five. Between them. And then three. Okay. And we're going to go a different direction on that one. Okay. See, I even have to figure out some of this stuff. Click OK. We've got our holes in it. There are holes in it. Not bad, huh? Not bad. What else do we have to finish on this? We have to put these little tabbies on here, and we got to chop out a little bit there. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon breezy. We'll come back here. I'm going to sketch on that face. And let's look at it from this side. It looks like I've got to take a rectangle out. How much? About that much. Let's look at the drawing here. Will it tell me? 2.5 deep, right there. Or 2.5 down. Sorry. And 10 from each side, away from each edge, okay? So let's do this. Make sure I'm on my dimension command. Ten. And then ten. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it. Remove. And I'm going to go up to next. Okay, so I've got that going for me. Last thing I need to do is add these little things right here. Add these little round areas, okay? Add these little, basically, hinge pieces. So what are they? Radius of 2.5, which means it's got a diameter of 5. And it looks like they offset by half a mil. Okay? So, let's do that. Let's sketch. Let's look at it. Let's go absurd here. Okay? Let's go absurd just so we see it. And now,
0.5. This to here, 0.5. And then five millimeters. Remember, they gave it as a radius, but it's easier sometimes to draw it as a diameter. Now we're going to extrude this. This is going to be add up to face, and I'm going to go this face. Come over here. I'm going to sketch. What I'm going to do is I'll pick a circle. Okay. And then I'm going to concentric this to here. Okay. And then I am going to do coincident this to this. Okay, extrude this, add, make sure it's add, up to face, and I'm going to make sure it takes the whole thing. It's not like in that for some reason. What's happening is that sometimes it doesn't like to add um, to an edge. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and this. I'm going to add it up to face. And I'm going to take this face right there. No, I'm going to pick up up to a vertex. It's not liking that. That's weird. Okay, so last chance. Add. We're going to change the. Okay. We're also going to add this piece in because it just doesn't like it. And I'm going to go up, to, I'm going to try up the face again. For some reason, it just wasn't grabbing it. I don't know. Strange. But there's that. There's that. Finally, we want to add these little nubs on. A 1.5 nub. Okay, 1.5 nub. Let's do it. Got a sketch on this. Good from the left. Going to do a circle. It's going to be concentric. Concentric here to here. My dimension is going to be. My dimension is going to be 1.5, okay, and I'm going to extrude it 1.5, 
Okay. And that's not going to come out the way I wanted to come out. So I'm going to do 0.75. Sometimes you got to play with it a little bit. And then I'm going to take a radius. See how that turned out? And you'd repeat it for the other side, and then you would be done. Okay? That's all. And if you want to play with it a little bit and make it different, that's all you have to do. Okay? That's how I would attack that one. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you in class. Bye-bye.